Hey, how are you? I am redecorating my office so you don't get to see me in it today, but I have a really easy project I want to share with you. So let's jump in. You're only gonna need three things for this project. These are grapevine wreaths that I picked up for a dollar each at Pop Shelf. You'll need three of those. A pair of scissors. And lastly, some twine. I'm gonna use purple so it will show up really well against this color, at least I hope it will. Let's find out. Yes, that should show up pretty well. So what we're gonna do first is cut all of the tags off of the wreaths. Alright, the next thing you're going to notice is that these look stiff, but they're actually kind of squishy, which is what we want. You're going to pick one of them, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to squish it into the other so it's fairly centered. You can check by holding it about like this, see is it symmetrical. It's a little off right here. And then check it by turning a little bit more. Yes, okay. Now. We're gonna cut some of our twine. And to measure this, I literally just stretched my arm out as far as it would go three times and then cut the string. So, one, two, three. And we're gonna need two pieces that length. You can use a little less than this. I just found it was more secure this way. Set this aside for the moment. Now all we're going to do is wrap around this join area. And what I did was hold this here. And we're gonna start wrapping. And you kinda wanna bunch your cord up at first, otherwise it's gonna get caught. Just wrap it a couple of times so that it holds the end in place. And just position the links close to each other. Once you get it wrapped a few times, you're gonna to want to keep your end out. We need that for later. Change directions. Repeat the process. different way. See so I get caught. The screen turned off. So I couldn't see it. Basically, I was trying to wrap each way three times. So this will be my third pass. All right. We're gonna do it this way. And from here, you can just wrap it however makes sense to you to use up the rest of your cord. Or you could stop if you wanted to. Just keep that little end out. Pretty good. Now we're gonna tie these two in a little knot. Make it really tight. 
And we will trim the ends off later. Repeat on this side. and tie in a knot. All right, next, we're gonna take our third one and we're gonna smush it around the outside of these guys until it's about halfway down. And just move it a little bit at a time all the way down the vines. You will have kind of an egg shape, which is fun. This one's a little bit off compared to this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just happen to be a bit of a perfectionist on this sort of thing. Okay, once you've got it about where you want it, we're gonna do the same thing. This time we need four pieces of cord. And I'm only gonna do it two times, this one. So otherwise I'm gonna run out. Okay, and then we're going to repeat this process with these four overlapping sections. Next, I'm gonna do the one that's opposite, just to give it a little more stability. You can start wrapping at any point on the project. We do the other two. Sit. Okay, now we're going to trim all the ends. I'm going to leave a little tail. I feel like when I don't, oftentimes things like this come unraveled. And these little tiny pieces aren't going to hurt anything. Now, to hang it, all you need is a loop at one of these thicker sections that we started with to hang it from the cage, and then your rats can climb on it. Some people would wrap the whole thing, but there's no need to do that. It's not sharp, really, even though it kind of looks like it. It's not, and all of this is very flat. So if you do happen to find a sharp edge, you can always trim it off with like your scissors to make it not sharp. 
or you can use little like wire cutters or some um, hedge trimmers or that sort of thing. But this is safe for the rats to chew on. And yeah, now we have a natural orbiter for our rat's cage. Thanks for watching. Bye.